have missed you so, 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 so very much. I have been so hard at work cleaning out our classroom. Everything is off the walls. All of your school books are packed up and ready to go home. And I found a fun Did You Know book. This book is called Hippos Can't Swim and Other Fun Facts. You know Mrs. Falls loves giving you fun facts. And I bet all my animal loving friends like Freya here, goodbye kitty. All of my friends who love animals are gonna love this book and my book though. And all my friends who love science are gonna love this book. Are you ready? Oh, the author. This book is by Laura Lynn Decina and Hannah Elliott. Hey there. Did you know that hippos are the third largest living land mammals? They come right after elephants and white rhinos. Did you know that a hippo's nose, ears, and eyes are all on the top of its head? That way a hippo can still breathe, hear, and see while the rest of its body is underwater. But did you know that hippos can't swim? That's right. Their bodies are too dense to float. Instead, hippos walk underwater along the riverbed or use their feet to push off in order to move. So they like going in the water, but they can't swim. They just walk. Can you swim? If you ever go swimming in an ocean, there's a chance you will run into a sea turtle. Even though a sea turtle seems slow, seem like slow animals, they can swim up to 35 miles per hour. That's much faster than lots of other sea creatures can go, and much, much faster than a jellyfish can move. I didn't know turtles can swim that fast. The next time you're in the car with mommy or daddy, ask them to go 35 miles per hour. They can show you how fast a turtle can swim in water. That would be a fun little experiment. Jellyfish float with the currents of the ocean. Wouldn't it be nice to float all day long? Float, float. Some jellyfish can produce light in their bodies. This is called bioluminescence. Jellyfish use this quality to scare off predators since the light can startle other animals. Look, that jellyfish uses bioluminescence to light up and scare that shark. Fireflies glow too, but they use their glow to communicate with other fireflies and to attract a mate. They can control their glow so that it stays steady, pulses, or flashes every so often. There's lots of fireflies in Ohio. You see those little bugs at night when they're when they're black lights up. Those are fireflies. A firefly's light comes in different colors. It can be green, yellow, or red. See if you can find fireflies next time you're outside when it's not rainy. Zebras don't come in lots of different colors, but they're black and white stripes do help camouflage them. To predators, such as lions, the stripes appear to blend into the wavy African grass. 
Did you know that zebra stripes are as unique as a human fingerprint? Zebras may all seem the same, but no two zebras look alike. Just like two, no two humans look alike. Now when it says unique as a human fingerprint, at the bottom of your finger, you see, I don't know if it'll zoom in enough, there's little lines. Those are your fingerprints, and no two humans have the same fingerprints. So, no two zebras have the same stripes. Zebras are attracted to things that are black and white stripes, just like they are. If you simply painted black and white stripes on a wall, a zebra would walk towards it. So those stripes help them keep safe. Raccoons and raccoons, on the other hand, are attracted to shiny objects like aluminum foil, pots, pans, and Russell, Russell, look out for the furry animals in your garage can. They like garage cans. Have you ever seen a raccoon outside going through your garage can? We sometimes call them trash cans in Ohio. Those raccoons love shiny things. Chipmunks, ah, I read my book. Chipmunks are more likely to be fond or to be found in woods than in your garage can. Did you know that all summer long they collect nuts, seeds, and berries by stuffing them in their cheeks? Then they drop off the food at their homes. When the chipmunks return home to hibernate for the winter, they slowly eat all of the food they collected in their cheek pouches over summer. So you can find chipmunks in the woods. This page keeps falling down on me. You can find chipmunks in the woods and they collect all their food in their cheeks and go to their house and drop it all off. So when they hibernate, they have food in their home. Kangaroos have pouches too, but kangaroos are marsupials. This means that their pouches are used to carry their babies. As you probably know, kangaroos hop everywhere. Where was that page again? They hop everywhere. They use their strong back legs to hop and their muscular tails for balance. If you bounce on a pogo stick, you can hop like a kangaroo too. Have you ever hopped on a pogo stick? Oh, I had one when I was growing up and it was so much fun to learn to bounce on. So kangaroos keep their babies in their pouches. And here they are hopping. A rabbit is another animal that hops. Rabbits may hop much more slowly than kangaroos, but the longest rabbit hop ever recorded is almost 10 feet. Rabbits can give birth to up to 35, this page, 35 baby bunnies per year. Some types of rabbits live as families on in underground burrows. It's nice and cozy down there. So a bunny can have up to 35 babies in one year? Oh my gosh. There he is making a big jump. And all of their babies. Look at how tired that mommy and daddy look. Some bats also live in underground caves. Others live in above ground trees. 
bats have excellent hearing. If there is an object or animal nearby, a bat will send out a sound that bounces off the object and then echoes back to the bats. By doing this, a bat can figure out how big the object is, how far away it is, and how fast it's traveling. That's called echolocation. Here they are hanging upside down in a tree. And here you can see the bat using echolocation to find that airplane. They send out like a sound. We can't really, we don't do that. And that sound, those waves, go to the big object. And then that bounces right back. And then the bat can see how far away it is and how big it is. Pretty cool. While bats sleep all day, worker ants in a colony don't sleep all day or all night. Instead, they each take about 250 naps throughout the day. Each nap lasts just longer than a minute. This way, many of the ants are awake at one time and can continue building the colony. Whoa, so they just take little tiny naps throughout the day. And they work all day long. I bet in the summertime you can find ants carrying away all the snacks that you eat outside when you have picnics. And then they take it down in their little homes. Did you know that great blue herons live in colonies as well? They mostly live along coastlines or near ponds or streams. Herons catch fish by standing still for long periods of time and waiting for fish to swim by. That may sound boring to you, but herons do it to survive. It's like when you go fishing and you have to be really, really still and quiet for a fish to catch on your fishing pole that will warm down there. And then you got it and reel back in. That's what they do all day. They fish, but with their beak. are three feet to five feet tall on average, whereas hummingbirds are among the smallest of birds. They are usually only about three inches to five inches tall. They're so tiny that sometimes they look like flying insects. So a heron is about three feet to five feet tall. So Mrs. Foltz is a little over five feet tall. So a heron's just a little bit shorter than me. And this little hummingbird, they're maybe about this little. Have you ever seen a hummingbird outside? They're so little and fast. Hummingbirds can hover in midair by rapidly flapping their wings 12 to 80 times per second. So fast. <laughs> and they're so little doing all that work. Look, it's so tired. And there's that big heron standing next to the little tiny bird. So they're both birds, but really big difference in their size. Blue whales are bigger than both hummingbirds and herons. They're actually the largest animals that have ever lived. Did you know that? They can grow up to a hundred feet long and weigh up to 180 tons. That is huge. Look at this big whale. And I think they have the other animals. Yep, there's the heron flying above the whale, whoosh, there's the whale, and there's a little turtle and jellyfish. Oh, and unlike hip 
UFOs, blue whales sure can swim. And here is some more fun facts about all the animals. Here. Do you want me to pick a couple? I'll pick a couple because fun facts are so much fun. <coughs> jellyfish. Jellyfish. The biggest known jellyfish is the Arctic lion's mane, whose tentacles can extend to 120 feet. Whoa! Chipmunk. Do you know a fun fact about chipmunks? Chipmunks chirp when they sense a threat. So unlike, like if I feel threatened, I'm like, ah! I might scream. A chipmunk makes a chirp sound like chirp, chirp, chirp. Hmm. Let's see another fun fact. Hippopotamus. Hippopotamus. The word hippopotamus comes from the ancient Greek word for river horse. But hippos are not related to horses at all. They mostly closely resemble pigs, whales, and dolphins. Because, you know, there was a couple of times that you guys would ask me in class, where do these words come from? And they come from people who talked many, many, many years ago, years ago who named all of these animals. So hippopotamus, when someone saw a hippopotamus, they came up with a word. They looked at that animal and they said, hmm, it kind of looks like a horse in a river. A river horse. A hippopotamus. Let's see, another fun fact. <gasps> sea turtle. I love this fun fact. Sea turtle. The average lifespan of sea turtles is more than 50 years. That's a long time for an animal. So a little turtle can live up to 50 years or more. <gasps> hmm. <gasps> Raccoons. Raccoons. When it comes to heights, raccoons have no fear. They scamper up trees to get away from predators. So those raccoons, they will climb anything and they are not afraid at all. Hmm. Bats. Oh, bats, bats, bats. Bats are very clean animals. Like cats, they groom themselves all day to keep their fur soft and clean. So you see, my, my cat, she will clean herself all day long. Bats will clean themselves all day too. I love clean animals. Hmm. A hummingbird. Well, I didn't know this fact. Hummingbirds can fly backwards and even upside down. I'm going to have to watch for hummingbirds to see if they do that. Hmm. Blue whale. Blue whales can rest easy. They are so large that they have very few known predators. Now that's the life. All right, that can be it for our fun facts. Have a wonderful day. I might see some of you tomorrow if you come. Is tomorrow Thursday? Yes, tomorrow's Thursday. If you come in the evening at school tomorrow, and pick up your school supplies, I will be there. So hopefully I see you. All right, I miss you bunches. I'm sending a squeeze. Uh, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. A little bit longer because I miss you, squeeze. Okay, goodbye. See you later.